Two years ago, First Minister, you <coughs> made a promise to this chamber that the target for treating patients diagnosed with cancer via the urgent route would be met from October 2013. Was that target met? Uh, no, but nevertheless it's uh, a figure that's uh, better than England. Uh, the reason for that is that our target is more ambitious than the English target. England's target is far, far less ambitious than ours and we perform better than England with regard to cancer treatment. First have Minister we reached our target? No, I'll, I'll finish yet. Uh, have we reached our target? No, but our target is ambitious and we do better compared to what happens across the border. I really would not advise you to start comparing your record on waiting times with England or Scotland, particularly, uh, uh, for example, on crucial diagnosis tests. The truth is that target wasn't met and performance against that measure has actually declined since October 2013. I'd like to turn to the ambulance service, First Minister. You've already mentioned this. This time last year, the Health Minister made another promise that targets would be met within a, a few months. How's that promise going? No, it's, it's improving. The target's not been met yet, that's true, but we are close to it. And things have much improved since, uh, since Christmas. That much, that much is true with regard to cancer uh, treatment. I'm not going to allow to get away with that. The, the reality is that people in Wales have uh, cancer, uh, access to cancer treatment more quickly. Demand has increased. We've managed to deal with that. People have access to anisoprude drugs more quickly. We spend more on cancer treatment per head in Wales than is the case in England. Scotland doesn't publish half of these figures, which is why, of course, Scotland doesn't get uh, compared to us. There have been improvements in the ambulance service, First Minister, you're right, and the workforce should be commended for those improvements, but we have established that your government has missed those two particular targets. You've broken those promises. I'd like you to commit to meeting one target by the end of this year. At the moment, there are 123 children waiting for paediatric surgery, and they've been waiting for more than 36 weeks. That's 12% of the entire list. Three and a half years ago, there wasn't a single child waiting longer than 36 weeks. You were once able to meet this target back in December 2011, and so that shows what can be done and the conditions that were in place at that time saw you able to achieve that. So it should be possible to identify how that target was met in the past and what you need to do in order to achieve it again. So will you commit now, this afternoon, to ensuring that by the end of this year, by the end of 2015, not a single child is waiting longer than 36 weeks for paediatric surgery? Well, I can certainly give my commitment to ensuring that that uh, figure drops. Uh, as you will know, we have already uh, committed extra money to the NHS. We're we'll to see, of course, uh, what the... Uh, Chancellor will say on the 8th of July with regard to extra resources uh, as far as Wales is concerned. We'll have to wait and see about that. Uh, but uh, it is clear to us that uh, we want to ensure that the waiting, list the waiting times rather, continue to be driven downwards. We've seen a great improvement in the ambulance uh, response times. We expect to see an improvement in uh, referral to treatment times, and we expect to see people have the service that they, that they want to see. Well, the reality is the National Survey said that the vast majority of people in Wales are happy with the NHS care that they get. So there's no point trying to present the NHS as in some way uh, in Wales uh, doing particularly uh, badly. Order, order. We have our challenges, that much order. is true. But the reality is that we are putting more money than ever into the Welsh NHS. It's treating more patients than ever, and we will continue to devote the resources that are required for NHS, resource, for NHS services in Wales.